Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meatsy69, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a tank which people have always called the Mini Mouse. Now, the Panzer 2J, everybody, it's always been known as the Mini Mouse, but in fact, it's not actually the Mini Mouse. The Mini Mouse is the Panzer 38H. Uh, I don't know why. It's uh, the Panzer 38H, to be fair. I think it is because of the armor profile. Back in the day, was absolutely insane. It really was. Uh, but people nowadays do get confused with the Panzer 2J. Uh, they they think this is the Mini Mouse. They do think it's the Mini Mouse. Because of that armor profile that this Tier 3 uh, uh, tank has got, is, uh, some people do call it the Mini Mouse. But yeah, it's not. It is uh, very, very heavily well-armored. Uh, well Apart from if you are coming up against uh, tanks in tier 4 or even tanks now in tier 3 with uh, using their, their premium rounds. But uh, the armor is still pretty good. DPM is pretty good at what it is. Uh, the only really negative thing about the tank is the uh, the penetration. You've got four shells, uh, four shots in your magazine with two uh, with shells per shot two. So you shoot and it shoots two shells, and you've got four shells in your magazine. So you're shooting eight shells. Now it only has around about a fifth damage uh, per shot 15 damage per shot and if you are using your APCR you're only getting around about 12 so yeah 12 damage per shot is not a lot so it's not going to be a tank uh, that you get a lot of damage with like it's going to be very rare if you do sort of four to five hundred damage in this thing then that could be considered as a, a success uh, because just the low input of damage, like 12. Uh, the reason I say 12, we're not going to talk about 15 damage per shot that much. Because uh, the AP on this, you're not going to use. Honestly, you are not going to use. And I'm going to show you that in one of my games. Because it just cannot penetrate anything, literally. You'll be very lucky to get a penetration with your AP. So uh, you do have a lot of shells. You do have a lot of shells with this tank. So uh, make sure, look at my loadout. Like, I've got more than double on my APCR. Uh, than I do with the AP because you're not going to use it unless you come up against tier twos, uh, light tanks, sort of. Um, even that, you're still going to struggle uh, to penetrate tier twos frontally. To penetrate, you have to come sort of side on or the rear to penetrate with AP. If you come frontally with pretty much any tank, uh, even a tank with paper armor, you will not penetrate it. Now, we're gonna show you a BT-7, which is never known for its armor. It's never ever been known for its armor profile at all. It's got none. It really has got none. Um, but we're gonna show you. We're gonna show you just uh, how stupid this penetration is. Um, of course, it is very slow as well. It really is very, very slow. And if you can see, we're gonna have the shot on the A32 first. Uh, bang, 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 bang. And we do get 62 damage. For a whole magazine, we get a whopping 62. And look at this, APCR, uh, AP. You just can't penetrate. It, you, it's so annoying. Um, I don't think this tank is as much fun as it used to be. It really did used to be fun. Like, back in the day, you used to be able to run two of these, uh, go into cap, both of you cap, and then the enemy will come to you. They won't be able to penetrate uh, penetrate you, and you just absolutely tear them apart, uh, of course, with your APCR. And when there's two of you uh, shooting that many shells, then, yeah, you can clear them a lot quicker. Uh, but yeah, I don't think this tank is, is half as much fun as it used to be. Now, those of you that play or uh, know about what, uh, what PC, this was, I think, one of the most expensive tanks in what PC. Like, uh, nobody could get their hands on it. And when, I, I can't remember how much it was, but uh, it was hundreds. Like, in the hundreds to get this tank. It was, uh, some people might know a little bit more. It's, it was years ago, so I've kind of lost my memory. Uh, but yeah, it was a very, very hard tank to get old 
hold of and everybody wanted it but it was just so expensive what blitz has never really been like that yeah it is a it used to be a fun tank to play and i suppose even now you can have fun uh in the tank uh, but it's just nothing like it used to be. It really isn't. Uh, they, just, In my opinion, I do think it needs to be buff because the armor profile, yes, of course, can work. Um, tanks with uh, the, on the same tier as you, yes, they might be able to struggle to penetrate you, but as soon as they switch to the APCR, uh, yeah, you, you are like butter, like especially your lower plate side on. <laughs> they can penetrate you very, very easy, and of course, the rear as well. So you always need to try to be face on uh, to the team of course you can still bounce shots i'm not saying like nobody uh, i'm not saying everybody can penetrate you uh, they will struggle as long as you don't make it easy for them like angle a little bit make height try to hide the lower plate it's got 10 degrees of gun depression so that will help uh, if you are on a ridge uh, but honestly i just think it needs changing like it's for sale or it should be for sale uh, by the time this video is out if it's not for sale then let's talk about when it does come for sale is it worth buying now usually these tanks now do come pretty cheap it's a three a tier three tank i mean it's it's never played it's hardly ever ever played but yeah if it's only a few quid then yeah why not it can be a fun tank to play um it's more fun in your first few battles because you should uh, it depends on the queue times, but you should come up against a, a lot of tier twos or some tier twos. Uh, I do apologize in the background. We're actually outside the dentist. My wife's gone into the dentist, so I do have my kids, uh, uh, well, my younger kids with me, so I do apologize. Um, but yeah, it's it really isn't the same uh, tank as it, as it used to be. It really, really isn't. So I personally would keep everything as it is, uh, but just give it more speed because that is for me a massive downfall the speed of this tank uh, so yeah that I, I think it needs more speed i don't i don't think it needs more armor uh, i don't think even the penetration i mean yeah the penetration sucks but that is what makes this tank right really really unique uh, you have to use your apcr um, but I would just give it more speed because the traverse, if tanks come around you, they try circling you, uh, it's easy. It really is e There's another. There's another baby. Uh, so yeah, it really is easy uh, for people to penetrate you. It's easy for them to get around you uh, and just uh, to absolutely destroy you. Uh, but yeah, I think it's time to go because there, there is a baby crying. But if, the, if, it is, if it is for sale and it is cheap, then yeah, you might want to think about getting it just for the fun factor in the tank. Uh, but it's not a fantastic tank. The best thing about no one playing the tank, that it, it, it is a very easy tank to ace, as you're going to see here. Like 480 damage, and that was still a mastery badge. It just reminds me of the Kenny Otsu, you know. No one plays it. Very, very easy tank to, uh, to ace. Uh, I say it's an easy tank. This tank isn't that easy, to be fair. Yes, you do low damage to get the... Uh, uh, to get the mastery badge but yeah it's very very difficult to get that damage because of the low uh, the low alpha per per shot it does make it very very difficult so there we go the panzer 2j what some might call the panzer uh, the panzer the mini mouse it's not actually the mini mouse but i can see why people do call it so hope you enjoyed today's video sorry about the grind i'm midi and i'll catch you all soon bye bye